Hey everybody! This is just an elaborate ruse for me to adjust my microphone. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, I almost just started an Isaac run, but we are due for an Eden run. We just did Lazarus, if I remember correctly. It's been going pretty well. Blank card, Wheel of Fortune, uh, Ramming Speed, and uh, we also have like a really high shot speed. AN9L XQBX. Alright. Uh, blank card, Wheel of Fortune strikes me as not bad. Let me put it this way. It strikes me as better than it seems. Obviously on the... Oh, that was really bad. Obviously on the chest there's something to be said about this, but additionally, every time we blow something up, we'll get the benefit of blowing up a slot machine with it. Or almost every time we blow something up, we'll get the benefit of blowing up a slot machine with it. And I have to feel like that probably gives us uh, a, a pretty nice amount of consumables over the course of the entire run. Obviously we'll be looking for a different... Uh, different card maybe a little bit more useful and doesn't require so many bombs to be useful but as is it's kind of like a weird bonus it's like a, a new item in the game where all bombs give us like extra consumables when they explode or something like that it's a little strange uh, I don't think I've ever really given it too much thought to using blank card wheel of fortune in this fashion before but that's okay we we may be able to get some sweet bomb chains out of it or something like that not chains like you know jewelry to be worn around the neck of the purchaser or perhaps whoever the purchaser decrees um, as if they were some kind of omnipotent god or something like that no this is more like um, chains as in you know getting more than one of something in, in rapid succession alright let's continue we do have that room back there with uh, an awful lot of chests on it and of course I would like to you know visit upon that room and, and, and do something fantastic there if possible this is not an XL floor it's just freaking huge that is Unusual, but uh, acceptable as well. Now we have blank card available. Ah, it could be worse. We have blank card available, so we should, if possible, take advantage of that and, uh, you know, blow something up. Especially now that we have two bombs. What about this room back here with all the the bombs and the chests on it? How many bombs do we need to actually get up there? It was, it was several, I know that much for sure. There is a tinted rock over here. Maybe we just, um... Let's start by putting down Wheel of Fortune, and I don't think that's going to work. But we can at least get get to this Tinted Rock, I think. So we got another two Spirit Hearts out of that. We're pretty close to actually being able to get into that other section over there. We just need another one or two bombs. Uh, this could help out a lot. It did not, but, well, not in the way that I intended, but... Ten Cents does give us the ability to possibly get something from our Secret Room. I don't think we're going to be able to get those chests. So it comes down to whether, you know, which one was actually worth it. That's a very good question. I don't know. Um, maybe it was worth it to go for the chests instead of going directly for the, uh, the uh, spirit hearts from the Tinted Rock, but we'll never know. Now, there is a, a cheap steam sale here. We're not going to get another blank card charge, that's for sure, but we, we could just get some bombs, you know, not even randomly, but from, like, the boss fight here. Or from this room right here. Either way, it would be fine. We could also play the fortune teller and get more bombs if we wanted to, but... I also want more money so I can buy the steam sale on the first floor. It's actually like a really meaningful pickup, but we may not be able to do any of those. So let's not get too attached to this either way, I guess. We could also play the the slot machine and hope to get a dollar for the first time in like 20 years, but uh, I don't particularly think that that is uh, of the essence either. Well, I mean, it would be nice to get a dollar, of course. I just don't think it's it's very likely. You also know, I'm assuming that the uh, or maybe you don't. I'm not. I don't want to sound like an asshole about it, but. Um, the, the poop in the boss room only very, very rarely pays out with pennies when you have petrified poop. If you don't have petrified poop, um, I, I think the jury is still out as to whether or not it's possible. I know Bisnap was concerning himself with that question a couple of months ago, and I don't know if he ever came up with a valid reason or a valid uh, answer one way or the other. Maybe he did, and I forgot about it. Let's go back. There is some poop back here. Toothpicks was a, a totally fine pickup. I'm... Happy might not be the right word, but not sad about this. Uh, we need a DPS, so HP can go on the standstill or go on standby for a little while here. I'm going to go down to five cents just to try to push our luck here. Come on. Come on, one more. That sucks. I wanted five cents uh, and no lower, so we still had a chance to get the arcade, but... I really wanted to get a bomb or two paid out there. Oh well, we, we've learned from our mistakes, hopefully. We got four keys, chance of an arcade on the next floor. It's a pretty good situation. 
maybe we botched it a little bit, but we do also have four spirit hearts, so it's kind of hard for me to be, like, too sad about the way that things are going right now. Especially when our, our damage and uh, now our DPS as well as a result of toothpicks is actually pretty good. Our, our shot speed is out of control, which is actually very, very good. If you consider how many items out there lower our shot speed or our effective range but are still worth picking up, like number one, Cricket's body, etc, etc. So I'm just gonna put down Wheel of Fortune right there. My thinking is, maybe if we have few bombs, we can stack up uh, our slot machines and fortune tellers all in one area, then we get like two or three for one bomb, which is a great deal. We know that we're- oh, that's actually very good as well. You know that we're going to uh, blow up that, uh, blank card magician's not so good. We're gonna blow up that Tinted Rock the first opportunity that we get, so we might as well, um, you know, d deposit our kind of, like, leftovers in terms of our, our blank card charges there while we wait to see if we get a bomb. In fact, maybe we should do that on the entire floor as opposed to just, like, uh, blowing them up piecemeal, but this is getting a little bit probably up our own assholes, if I'm being honest and also pardon my French, um, about the, uh, the strategic value of blank card, uh, fortune teller, but it's kind of cool, you know, this is what I like about Eden, is that you get the chance to mess around with all these novel synergies that you might otherwise uh, never get the the impetus to, or the motivation, or even the, the potentiality to. Samson's Lock is, uh, in my opinion, better than no trinkets, so we'll take that. Speed of the run is a little low right now, but I think that's acceptable. Where the heck is our... There we go. Um, let's try to drop it, like, here. I think we could place a bomb and get all three of the relevant elements there. So we're going to explore every single room because one bomb is going to pay out potentially with like a staggering amount of value here. We also have a deal with the devil on this floor which is a little bit more traditional. Dad, deal with the devil meta is over! Nobody cares about deals with the devil anymore. It's all about blowing up 12 slot machines at the same time, getting enough money to buy, you know, BFF or something like that. Alright, well, I don't remember really what this guy can give me, but I was hoping maybe Bob's Curse? Chubb dislikes smoke, in case you're curious. I know that it's been a while since uh, any of us had the impetus to remember that. Maybe we go to our shop and buy a bomb? It seems like it'll pay for itself, like, assuredly. We're definitely going to get something out of our Tinted Rock. We could just get Red Hearts out of our slot machine and fortune teller when we blow them up, but... We'll see after we handle this uh, this boss fight here, you know? I'm, I'm hoping for more DPS. We've got enough Spirit Hearts to kind of coast on for a while, so if we can get high damage here, that'll mitigate the need for HP in the immediate future, because we'll just kill things faster than they can kill us. We'll see, though. Uh, we'll, we'll take the HP. No arcade on this floor, a little disappointing. Uh, I'm not going to take Mom's Knife. I've taken the knife-related items. Knife, knife and Brimstone specifically, I guess. Uh, a little too often lately. Let's mix it up and go uh, Sacrificial Dagger and Rotten Baby. Both great items in their own right. Our HP is still fine, and this allows us to get better synergies in the future, I think. I think there's an outside chance we get enough money from this uh, explosion to actually give us a chance to get um, the compass. And it actually worked. That's amazing to me. We got 21 cents. We can also go into our uh, into our uh, boss trap room, and I feel like our damage should be acceptable. Oh man, this is so disappointing because I'm really loving the synergy that we've got here. But you know what? Sure, I, I do think that probably um, the forget me now is a little bit more fun. It's a little bit more novel and interesting. We lose blank card for it though. I don't know. Blank card is very cool. You know what? I think we're just gonna stick with blank card Wheel of Fortune. I, I realize that this situation is like damned if you do, damned if you don't. No matter what, people are gonna be like, Oh, you're a pussy, you got rid of blank card. You're a pussy, you didn't take Forget Me Now. I don't know. I this is We get Forget Me Now way more often than we get blank card Wheel of Fortune, and blank card Wheel of Fortune actually worked out fantastically for me, so... How am I gonna say, like, let's not carry this uh, strategy through to its logical conclusion? We got Guppy's Tail and Guppy's Collar on the same curse room. That doesn't happen all that often, so I'm pretty amazed. Guppy Dream is, is very much in full effect right here. And again, you know, I, I know that people are, it's gonna be a contentious floor back there, because people are gonna be like, why wouldn't you pick up Mom's Knife? Like, Cobalt picks up Mom's Knife. Yeah, there's it's nothing wrong with that. Cobalt and I have different, um, 
different kind of entertainment values when it comes to Rebirth. And that's not me saying like, oh, you know, wink, wink, we have different standards. No, Cobalt is a guy who's, you know, one of, one of the principal reasons that people watch him is because he's very good and, and very consistent. You know, he wins 95, 98% of the time, mathematically speaking. Um, he gets these, like, absurdly long streaks going that people like watching. And, you know, that requires taking... Most of the time, I think, taking these, like, super overpowered items whenever you get them, because you never know if you don't take it, if that's going to be the end of your streak. And, you know, that's a hundred runs wasted, almost, for just so you can feel like a hard ass, right? Um, whereas, for me, I, I, I know my place is a little bit more on the absurd end of the spectrum. Please don't follow me in here. So, I'm, I'm content to... Uh, to fulfill that role. I, I know my place, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Abel... Not really interested. Uh, where are we going to drop down these Wheel of Fortunes? Might as well put it here, okay? And we can always just deposit a lot of them on this room if we want to, even though there's nothing else that we're going to be, you know, buying, or uh, blowing up, I should say, in this room. Um, you know, one bomb to blow up four slot machines or fortune tellers at the same time is still very much worthwhile. It's not as worthwhile as getting a Tinted Rock out of it at the same time, but it's it's still very good. So I'm feeling like this is going to be a, a very, very overpowered Eden run. Like, I, I can't really see logically anything stopping us here in the near future, especially if we can get one more Guppy item. It doesn't even really matter which one is which, because our HP is so fine right now regardless. But of course I would love it if it were 9 lives, and now we find this pill, which gives us a Tears upgrade. Very worthwhile. Still kind of hoping for, a, like, a rate of fire for once is actually way outpacing our, um, our actual damage stat. Not for once, but it doesn't happen all that often. If we could just, um, raise our damage stat to match it, then that would be fantastic. For now, I'm just gonna keep going back. I mean, another thing I like about this kind of synergy that I have right now is that I have to backtrack a lot. Might seem like I would not like that, but I think it's, it's... Getting me, a, it's training a skill that I don't really have, and that skill is patience, you know? Most people there, you know, I, I read something really, really good online. I forget where it was, but it was like somebody tweeted an artist. I, I can't remember. I mean, actually, they were a programmer, I think. And they were like, you know, how do I get good at, at maintaining my motivation? Like, it seems like I'll be motivated for, for weeks, and then, uh, you know, my motivation will fall off, and I'll stop doing something. And, you know, you can apply, I think, this advice to, to a lot of things in life that you want to do consciously, but emotionally you don't want to do. Like, for example, you know, losing weight or, you know, lifting weights or something like that or exercising. You know, consciously in your brain, you're like, that's a good thing. I should do that. But, you know, sometimes you're like, ah, I don't feel like a blah, 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 blah. And what the person said is, like, basically, fuck motivation. It's very important. Obviously, it's going to be little chat. It's very important to, to harvest or, or not harvest, um, train the skill of wanting to do something or forcing yourself to do something even when you don't want to do it. Which, I mean, obviously, ugh, that was bad. But it gave me 48-hour energy with blank card Wheel of Fortune. I mean, we have one charge in this anyway, so we might as well just use this for another pill, and it ended up being tears up, which is fantastic. Um, sure, let's start depositing these. I mean, we could blow up the fortune teller or something like that. But anyway, I'm getting off my my very conceited, self-aggrandizing, self-help point here, which is, you know, it, it's important to, to learn the skill and to train the skill of doing something even when you don't want to do it, because, you know, that's a lot of adult life and it's also good for you again like you'll be like well I should instead pursue the things I want to do yes that's very true you know follow your dreams uh, you know uh, do what you love you'll never work a day in your life right but at the same time this is important because motivation I think uh, gets a false rap as like the be-all end-all but really a, a very important skill if you want to get particularly good at something is not being motivated hundred percent of the time it's doing your your job <laughs> that you've given yourself 100% of the time. So that's what I'm getting at here is like I'm, I'm happy that we have the opportunity to to force ourselves to backtrack We've given ourselves like a, a reward for backtracking and um, you know Maybe that'll strengthen an area of my game that I'm not particularly strong with right now I'm not I'm very much not like a self-help guy for the most part I find a lot of that stuff, uh, you know, not to be firing shots at any service in particular, but you know up its own ass, basically, but I do, that resonated with me, is like, yeah, you know, 
You're never going to be motivated to do, like, your math homework all the time. There's always going to be days where you're like, I don't really want to go on a 45-minute run right now. I'd rather just sit on my butt. And and there is there's valid times for that, for sure, you know, when you actually desperately need a break. But motivation, man, is is a fickle... It's a fickle beast. It's very important to learn the skill of discipline, of, of doing something that you know is good for you, even when you don't necessarily feel like doing it. That's, that's an important part, I think, of... Uh, of being an adult, but what do I know? I'm I'm 26. Hopefully, when I'm 28, I, I'll have the wherewithal to look back on this conversation and be like, "Man, I was, I was up my own ass at that time." And uh, you know, now just if it feels good, do it. Even if you shouldn't, don't let people mess you around. Like Sloan said, man, not Sloan from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Sloan, the Canadian band. You know, they did that song in the 90s. She was a near well if that's a word. You know that one. It was it's a good song, man. Uh, okay. What are we looking for here? Next guppy item, uh, of course. I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna worry about Wheel of Fortune, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get the slot machine back there. Well, two bombs for one cent, not a great deal. The key out of this, though, is probably worth it. Now we'll go to our, uh, our shop over here. I know we should be placing, like, a Wheel of Fortune down. I'll tell you what, I'll place it here. And we might be able to find our secret room adjacent to it. We didn't, but we got a key and three cents out of it, so that seemed pretty worthwhile. I was going to blow it up anyway. Alright. Blow up the mushroom? Thank you. 48 hour energy again, huh? Well, tell you what. Uh, this could be a secret room as well, so I just blank carded nothing. On the bright side, we still do have two more that we can put down here, and I'll, I'll play one just for shits and giggles, apparently. Completely not an accident. Okay, put a bomb here, and maybe secret room. Ah, that's good. Secret room, we got whipworm as well. Lemon party. Ah, this is a great room for us to uh, take advantage of. With our fortune tellers if we want to. Although we're placing the bombs in four different spots, so maybe it doesn't actually matter that much. So we get Steam Sale, which we wanted earlier, but we're unable to get. And Blank Card Chariot. Also, like, pretty good, of course, but... I'm kind of digging the Blank Card Wheel of Fortune right now. It's given me more money than I would have expected. And that's another 48-hour energy. What are these ones? Full health, okay. Paralysis. Bombs are key. No, I'd, I'd rather have the key, thank you. Uh, we'll take 48 hour energy. I guess we'll just take it, like, right now. And then we'll take Wheel of Fortune with us. Yeah, I'll take Liberty Cap. Um, I don't know, I, I could have handled that situation in there probably a little differently, but it ended up working out fairly well. We traded four bombs for Liberty Cap and, like, a full charge on Wheel of Fortune. Which we'll just throw down right there. And we got another battery in there, which we'll try to throw down and, and, you know, use when we get another bomb as well. Which we did not right there. As much as I wish we did. Where's my, uh, where's my arcade at? That's what I'm concerned about here. Still have a lot of business, uh, unfinished here on this floor. There's some bombs. But we don't have a full charge yet, so we'll wait until we get a natural full charge. Then we'll pop it, get our battery. Alright, this is great. This is our, our deal with the devil. Times two, probably. Not guaranteed, but, you know, very, very likely that we do manage to get that. Rotten Baby, I thought for sure, would have finished one of the Fallens by now. And I'm starting to lose those Spirit Arts that I picked up so nicely in the early game, but... Oh, that's Guppy. Okay. The Guppy dream is complete. And a Krampus fight. Lots of mini-bosses on this floor, unfortunately. At least we get Lump of Coal out of it, and we get Fate as well for extra HP. I'm thinking we go hard on the spirit hearts right now. And I know we're going to have one extra HP on the next floor anyway, but I was like, well, yeah, why not? We're already in, like, a really good situation HP-wise. Seems like this is a relatively smart idea for us. And it also gives us the ability to uh, go to our... Uh, let's put this here. It gives us the ability to go to our uh, boss trap room. So we got a spirit heart, a lot of money, 48 hour energy pill, which is kind of hilarious. I guess we can pop that like here. Oh, I, I used it again without having a card. Not very smart of me. And then we'll do that. Tears up is well worth it. Paralysis is not, but we got another bomb out of it. Uh, okay. Let's, let's continue playing the game, basically. I'm, I'm having a really good time on this one. 
this has been very strange, but also, you know, quite nice. This is a synergy that I would... Now, if I if I get blank card early on in a run, and I get, like, Wheel of Fortune, I'm not going to be like, Oh, it's Wheel of Fortune, blank card, woe is me. I'll be like, whoa, it's me with Wheel of Fortune and blank card. That's amazing. Well, it, amazing might, might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but I'll be like, You know, cumulatively, over the course of several floors, we can gain a disproportionate amount of resources as a result of this combination. Wow. Disproportionate amount of resources. Four words, four Washington Lane. Let's go, sis. All right, let's uh, move along here. Gimpy, worth it, yes, considering the the relatively low cost to ourselves. Can't get into that uh, double key room. Oh no, there is a key down here. Why why did I not pick up this key earlier? What even is a key? Where am I? I, I guess I didn't have Guppy at that point. We could open a golden chest, but I think I'm just better off saving this for the next floor. So this, uh... This Eden run feels real good right now. I can't really... See a situation at all. Earlier I was like, I, I can't see a situation... You know, in the, in the short term where we end up losing. Now I'm like, I don't know how we find a situation in the long term where we lose. When we already have Guppy by Depths 1. Just like, incredibly bad damage, I guess, is... Is always a possibility, but... Alright, well, by default, this is going to be where we're going to deposit our, uh... Our fortune tellers for now. I did not mean to open that, and I got very lucky, I think, that it didn't open, despite the fact that I was standing right next to it. Lucky me. Lucky me. Okay, more keys. Very useful. More bombs. Uh, also potentially useful. I mean, it's always nice to have them, I guess. We're just gonna go to our boss fight first, just to see if we get a, uh deal with the devil again. I don't think we will, but if we do, I would like to. Sacrificial dagger is so useful as long as you're just, you know, willing to stay in there. Extra damage, I am fine with. More keys again. I mean, we're getting so many golden chest drops that, you know, these keys, uh, they feel nice. It's warranted. Let's put it that way. That That's worth nothing for us. Uh, we'll drop another one of these in there. And then let's go find our uh, item room, hopefully. Boss Rush, obviously, uh, in about one second, is mathematically impossible for us to get to. And that's, I wouldn't say by design, like I would have loved to have gone a little faster on this run, but, you know, with the conditions that we have on this run, I think it's pretty clear that it was weighted towards us not really exploring quickly. It was weighted towards us exploring diligently, which is, is cool in its own right as, as well. I always love seeing newish kinds of synergies like we have here with um, Blank Card uh, Wheel of Fortune. Thank God we didn't start with just like a straight up garbage item. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go straight to the curse room here because we're already here. Because we can fly, we should be able to get uh, a lot of these skulls broken. I am probably getting to the point, that was very bad. Uh, I'm probably getting to the point where I would be content to replace uh, paralysis, range up. I'd be content to replace our uh, Wheel of Fortune card with maybe... I don't know, the devil or something like that? I'm thinking something that makes this a little bit more offensively potent, but, you know, it's hard to deny something like the Hierophant as well. So let's blow this up. And then we'll head down to the next floor. Ooh, blank card, Hagalaz rune. I don't think that's worth it, but I like where your head's at. A blank card, Yera rune would obviously be incredible for us as well. But let's see what we've got in our shop first. We have a lot of purchasing power, thanks to the Steam sale. Might as well get BOGO bombs. Might as well buy this. And then I think we'll donate as much money as they'll let us donate. Hopefully we can get it back up, you know, into the 770s at least. Because I have been taking a, a few liberties with our donation machine that are probably not particularly nice. Alright. At least we're going to get it back to a reasonable amount. I think if we use Pandora's box... On this floor, it's the... It's four spirit hearts, I think. So it's not really that, that warranted for me. I'm just going to try to keep myself above 7 cents. I know we could donate one more here, but... Um, I want to stay above 7 so we can guaranteed buy something on the next floor. But I'm happy that it took so much of our money. I've been milking the, the donation machine for like maybe a dozen runs. And then to just have it accept uh, my apology there feels really good. So, I would really like to see now black candles so our compass doesn't become as useless as it is on this floor. 
And I would really like to see... Hive Mind, I think. BFF would also be... BFF, BF except doesn't really work. I was trying to come up with the, with the world's worst wordplay. Well, in that case, you know, judging by those criteria, I may have succeeded. However, I, uh... I'll just be moving along here. Hive Mind is, for obvious reasons, something that's pretty important to me. I hate to say it, but like Holy Mantle as well. I mean, it's, a, it's extremely greedy, but anytime you have Sacrificial Dagger... That's not very good. Anytime you have Sacrificial Dagger, anything that gives you some invincibility is something that you're going to be interested in, in picking up, obviously, because the way that I deal most of my damage to enemies is flies and then also just walking into them with this Sacrificial Dagger, so... I'm really happy that on this run, uh, it didn't end up... Uh, we might as well blank card two of diamonds and then two of diamonds again. Maybe they'll let us donate all that money, but... Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I'm really glad that uh, not taking Mom's Knife didn't end up sinking this run. It, I mean, we haven't gotten really any cool synergies. I guess except for Guppy. But we haven't gotten any cool synergies that, you know, Mom's Knife completely negates. But... I'm happy with our uh, with our choice regardless. You know, a Mom's Knife run, a little easy, and I've been milking a little bit of fan goodwill lately by taking Brimstone and Mom's Knife on a lot of recent runs, but now I have a, I have a good excuse for the future, I guess. I don't really care about that arcade. I'm happy with the keys here. I know I haven't really been using Blank Card Wheel of Fortune. I think I'm over it for now. I think it's given us a lot of, like, resource gain that I'm very happy with, but now I'm just like, you know, we I'm ready. I'm ready for something else. Hopefully, we'll get that. I mean, we could be cracking skulls a lot more uh, diligently than we are right now. Some of the worst plays I've made in recent memory on this room. That's okay. Black hard. That is not a card. I would rather have had no black heart and three cards. But you can't always get what you want. Emperor card would also be amazing. I mean, I'm a little bit of a scumbag like that. I'm like, you know... You know what? I, I, I like Isaac so much, I want to finish it as soon as possible. Now, I mean, that does sort of factor into it. I'm I'm actually going to be a complete shithead because we're on Curse of the Lost and I'm going to skip our item room on this floor. And our shop, I think. Basically because I'm a, I'm a piece of garbage. I'm, I'm human trash and I, I hate being without a map, man. I'm the kind of guy, I know it's the year 2015. I have a navigation system. I have a phone with a GPS in it. But whenever I go somewhere new... I like write down the directions on a piece of paper. I'm like, okay, you're gonna turn right on Howe Street, and then after Howe, you, you know, you're gonna follow that to the Georgia Viaduct, and then you're gonna, you know, turn right on Main. And there's Pizza Farna right there, the best pizza place in the city, if you if you can deal with the the crowded spaces there. But anyway, we got Pentagram, we got uh, Polaroid. This is good, and we do have mapping now. Well, I mean, we we've had mapping, but now we actually have the ability to like, you know, see <laughs> our, our mapping actually works. Let's put it that way. Um, but, I'm hoping that, uh, we'll be able to pick up a card here. Even though I didn't crack as many skulls as I should have cracked. That's the other thing about discipline, is that it's a double-edged sword, you know, if you, if you remain disciplined for a little while, you gotta let your hair down from time to time. Everything in moderation, including moderation. In there, I mean, our luck stat is not striking me as being particularly good right now, so I'm a little, um, I'm a little, I wouldn't say concerned, not at all, but, uh, I'm not really impressed with what I think will be our haul on the chest. Like, we could get good items on the chest, but I don't think we're gonna get many chests outside of the original room, so, uh, unless we get blank card Yera, I'm not particularly thinking the chest is guaranteed to be an enormous boon for us or anything like that. This Mama Gertie just has no chance in hell. I think we stayed in there just long enough to get the job done. Don't really want the HP. Uh, oh, ah, this is this is interesting. Okay, I'll tell you what. I mean, I, I want Little Brimstone. We might as well take it now. I want Dark Judas. Uh, so, we will now find the means with which to kill ourselves. So we can respawn with that awesome damage bonus. This, I, I'm going to kill this room because I hate this room. I hate these enemies. They're not going to deal enough damage to me quickly. And the the hands will just cause me to teleport. Is stupid. There you go. You hit me. Ow. You son of a bitch. 
I hope there's enough rooms down here for us to get hit. And then we'll take Placenta with us, basically for the raw HP, because I'm a little scared about how things will look for us. Okay. Don't kill anything. Thank you. Uh, oh we, my god, we have the cancer effect on every single room. Oh, I'll just finish this. Hurt me! Okay. I could like bomb my way out of the room at this point. This is this is ridiculous. I can't kill myself if I want to here. There we go. Two more rooms and we'll be able to finish this off. One more room. Actually, we could finish it off on this room. Doesn't really matter one way or the other. We found our way to the boss so quickly. All right, one more room after that room. I'm opening these in case there's spirit hearts in them now because I would desperately desire these spirit hearts. Might as well open that. Uh, it was decent. Oh no, we died, and now we've come back much stronger. Okay. Well, uh, our damage is gonna be awesome. Where was our uh, our not emperor? Sorry, uh, wheel of fortune card is down here. We might as well like blank card wheel of fortune, and then forty eight hour energy, and then blank card without the card, of course. That's that's your good luck charm. And then I think we're going to play the Wheel of Fortune as much as possible. Or sorry, we're going to play the, the Fortune Teller as much as possible. To try to get some extra Spirit Hearts or maybe a Trinket that makes all the difference. But again, our luck stat, I'm not thinking, is particularly high right now. So, Blank card Hero Font. That is now what we want. So, what we should actually do is pop down this Wheel of Fortune as well. Got a nice battery going on here. Petrified poop, mysterious chocolate, not interested. Come on, spirit arts. Bloody penny, not interested. We got counterfeit penny, or um, store credit there. That's probably going to happen many times as we walk back and forth here. No spirit arts thus far, but you know, the hero font pickup is very stellar for us. Pinky eye is okay, but. Yeah, I mean, pinky eye might be worth taking. I don't know. We got one spirit heart. That's it. That's all right. One spirit heart for finishing the job as well. Bombs are key. Doesn't really matter. Blank card here, font Liberty Cat. Sure. Uh, I'm leaving the bombs. Not out of any like strategic benefit. I'm just leaving the bombs. And you know what? I think we're better off with the invincibility. I don't think at this point with four spirit hearts we actually need placenta. So let's let's just head down to the next floor. Um, and we're, we're going to get more spirit arts quickly is the idea anyway If we don't we've done something terribly terribly wrong um, Okay, I'm, I'm happy with our damage. I was just taking a little while to appraise it there. I'm happy with it We do not need red chests. Uh, I don't really want to go to the curse room. We did find a spirit heart there. I painted myself into a corner a little bit with our HP right now. I can't really take too, too many risks until our HP comes back. But, you know, we're just getting through these rooms so quickly anyway. This feels like a secret room to me. And Ace of Spades. You know what? Ace of Spades could be interesting. Liberty Cap, sort of non-essential for us. Should use Hero Font here. We can always pop, like, the last... Like, we can pop a hero font without blank card if we desperately need HP. I don't think it's going to come to that. I mean, look at how quickly we just killed uh, Mom there. But if it does come to that, we can get away with it. For now, though, I'm really happy with this uh, this Eden run. It turned out to be novel and uh, surprisingly fun, considering that, like, our, our main strategic benefit was, like, economic. You know, normally, oh, economic. We got a run that's going to give us more, more keys, more money that's... Stupid, but actually it turned out to be pretty fun. Blank card the Gaz. Um, it's a bit of an interesting choice. I think we stick with Hierophant just because it gives us like raw greater output. I gotta admit, we've been getting very lucky with the the layouts on these floors as well. Like consistently, I'm not gonna open that to save some for the next floor just in case. But I'm very lucky that we've been getting super super small floors. Like the layouts are very obvious. When you see where the boss room is. So obvious that you actually want to be like, oh, this has to be the wrong way. They're, they're tricking me somehow. But actually, they're being quite nice. Alright, down to the chest. Hoping for no curse. That would make me feel bad about leaving the Degas room, but... Uh, well, it's Curse of the Unknown. That's not that bad. 
We got Ipecac, Dead Onion, Strange Attractor, Midas Touch. This is incredibly weird. Uh, I think what we should do is take all of it. To let them know that its weirdness does not bother me. So I'm assuming that one Ipecac shot is going to summon flies of such, you know, ferocity that we're not going to be in a difficult spot. Okay, um, you got triple shot. Our, our shots should do a staggering amount of damage. Our flies are just going to tear them up, you know? I wonder how the flies work with triple shot. Like, if you have a chance... If, if all three shots hit, do you have a chance to summon three flies? Or does each fly do the damage of one barrage of triple shot? Or, you know, is its damage based on one barrage of triple shot? This is one hell of a long floor. It's like we're paying for all of our earlier... Um, bonuses that we got, but the flies are so good. There's gotta be a, yeah, there's there's the way we switch to the right here. Rate of fire is real bad. Man, our luck stat is like way better than I gave it credit for. Now I feel like a little bit of a shithead for be expecting to not get any items down here. Instead, we're getting an item on like almost every single room. Obviously, we've won this run, uh, as, as has been called ages ago. Man, I don't really need mom's bra. But, uh, yeah, I, more Eden runs like this, please. This is a really fun run. Uh, I'm hoping maybe we can get uh, nine lives on this room. Although it doesn't look like there's Ultra Pride. I guess we already killed regular Pride, right? So there's definitely no Ultra Pride. This is like your ideal Eden run. This is, this is why Eden is probably my favorite character to play in the game. Mom's wig. Uh, our spiders are just going to speed things up for us. It's not the difference between life and death, but we are happy to have them. This would have been a hellish floor if we didn't have as much damage as we do. I don't know why I pop uh, the Hierophant card in such a dangerous situation. We're already at the HP cap now, as we have now realized, mathematically speaking. So let's go finish the job here. Not a particularly long run, but uh, longer than you'd expect given our Dark Judas crazy Ipecac damage right now. There's Bob's Curse, the item we asked for like right at the very beginning of the game. And we're done. <laughs> it's like two-shot blue baby. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.